Hey guys, it's Annette with Annette's Astrology Corner, and this is your May 26th forecast and energy reading. And I want to talk about today because today is kind of a little bit different from yesterday. Not a kind of, it is it's a lot different. So let's talk. So yesterday the moon and this and the sun were in opposition of each other. So that that was a day where you kind of just emotionally didn't feel grounded in what your son wanted and when this happens it's really important for you to understand that okay because what emotionally I believe I truly believe that we just are emotional based creatures I, I believe that there are people out there that don't use their emotions as guides and I believe that those people have went through life and had tremendous um awakenings lately that that emotional based energy is valuable and is very um needed in today's society um that our emotions are often um our gut instinct and so we're tapping into them more so anytime that the ego itself is in direct opposition you know with with the sun, our core um, is in opposition with our emotional well-being. You know, there's some internal work that goes on into our processes and just the way that we, we manage ourselves. Now, today is kind of a way different day. I, I think I, li I love today's energy. Uh, there's a lot of positive things to talk about today. I think we had some major breakthroughs as far as in how we want to proceed with our future yesterday um, and just our long range goals. Um, the sun is still going to be in Gemini and it's still going to be opposing Saturn and Sagittarius. So that is, again, your lower mind and your higher minds, you know, working together to to come to some sort of of a, a tremendous understanding about what you want for the rest of your life okay and neptune is still squaring off with the sun in gemini so that just to me what this means when this happens is that you know there's you know there's the fog is clearing it's it's not like you can deceive yourself it's not like you can make believe that what's going on just really you know isn't going on because you logically know it is i mean neptune's not out there making it you know look rosier than it is it's it's adding an element of confusion so there's still the dualities that you still got to go through and and we still got the um, moon in Virgo, so there's still some duality in that. And, you know, you got your Sagittarius energy, and so that's a mutable energy. So we still got a lot of work going on in the mutable energies and just making us much more adaptable to what our mind is logically coming up with. So, you know, logic normally means that we're just either black or white. But in this energy, it's not just black or white. It's broad. It's It makes you... It expands your thinking. It expands your consciousness. It makes you go from thinking that the unconscious realm is and diving into it and really, really adding depth to your soul. Pluto is kind of wreaking a little havoc here today. Um, and so the, to me, this means that it's a big soul searching day. It's a day where you find out a lot about who you are and about, you know, how you process things and and just you know how you logically go through life and make routines based on how you feel a lot of us when we get upset we we um fall into poor coping methods but you know this virgo energy is saying okay i know you used to do this but let's not do that anymore because that hasn't helped us in the past like let's look at our past train wreck of life and know that, you know, you know, acting like that didn't get us anywhere and it actually put us here. So let's start to think of new ways and new routes to do things. Um, love is going to be interesting today. Um, and money opportunities, I think, are going to be, and, and even home and, and family situations are going to be just, they may turn around today. You may see just... Um, 
I don't know, revelation in energy today. And the reason I say that is because Venus in Cancer is going to be sextiling your moon in Virgo. So it could mean that, you know, you used to have this really poor coping method when you were in a relationship with somebody, when you partnered with somebody that just made it impossible for you to have successful ventures in love. Um, but now you're looking at everything on such a grand scale. You're, you're using your mind. I mean, you're using all aspects of your mind and you're seeing really honestly that you're the problem. Like you, you are, um, if, if, if you fall into poor habits as far as managing your money and as far as, as achieving goals that would sustain money, you're seeing that now. You're seeing that you're the issue. You're seeing that if if people are avoiding you in your home, you're seeing that you're the reason why your home environment is not ideal anymore. You're you're starting to understand your role in all of this. And you know what? It's not that to say that you're going to have this day where it's just going to be totally perfect and everything just falls back into place. It's like ah ha ha. Like you're just going to have this like amazing aha moment, but clarity and looking at everything detached and optimistically, right? With all this Gemini energy that we have, allows you to pull back emotion. Like say if you had a moon in cancer, it would be a freaking nightmare day today because you would realize that a lot of this has to do with you. But because you're in this beautiful like moon in Virgo, you're like, okay, yeah, I know I'm the problem, but I can come up with a lot of ways and processes to correct all my previous behavior. And I can start with me to now, now today. I know that I have these things to work on. Saturn in Sagittarius today. Now Saturn, kind of karma, Sagittarius is your higher mind, right? is opposing Mercury in Gemini, Mars in Gemini, and the Sun in Gemini. It's opposing your lower mind, okay? So it's not like, it's not about instant gratification anymore, guys. It's not about, you know, getting to the point where you guys can feel good immediately by doing some stupid thing that you used to do to make yourself feel immediately better. No, you're looking at everything from a karmic level, from an accountability. You're now, you know, you're account. Not only do you know you're accountable to others, but you know that there is a ramification for everything you do. So you've got to seriously think this stuff through. And, you know, Mercury is right now, it's in retrograde. So it's pulling you into your past. It's pulling you into your past thought processes. It's looking at everything and thinking, you know, instant gratification was great, but look what instant gratification did for me back then. That wasn't so great, you know, the way that I look at it. I think through all of this, I think we're going to have an aha moment, at least in your south node. And that is because your south node in Aries, so that's your south node when any time that there's Aries energy in it, that means that it's in your ego, it's in yourself, it's, it's, it's how, it's what happened to you when you were young, it's how you, when, when you were a kid, when you were really little and you learned, um, that crying gave you gratification, you know, somebody came to you and took care of you, but maybe crying never got anybody so you had to be strong and just sit there and wait it out like it's that kind of thinking it's all just like how you approach life on a very basic instinct okay that energy right now is going to be training mercury and gemini your sun and gemini and mars and gemini if you're smart enough to put all these pieces together because i know that you have all this intellectual energy going on there is some major work going on with inside yourself about your ego, how you pursue passionate things, ideals, how you um, how you uh, communicate about them, how you uh, explore them uh, when when you get these revolutions, revolutionary uh, thoughts in your mind. You like how do you go after them? Um, and then you know. It goes down to the basic level of, I know I have these issues. I can change all of this. 
because this is all mutable energy. It's all changing. You're not stuck in these issues that you used to have. You're not stuck in these past processes. You're not stuck in your past. You are moving forward, right? There is power to be found in your past. Analyzing your past, looking at your past, knowing what types of routines, what types of processes you had in your past. All of those are highly useful in progressing into the future. If you if you look at it like you're you're evolving right now, you're not pulling any of this stuff into your future, by the way, guys. Guys, this is why we're going through this in May. May is about analyzing everything, getting to the bottom of it, and like actually pushing forward and not taking any baggage with you. You're not going to be carrying some heavy suitcase full of a bunch of crap anymore into your future. But you have to go through your closet and know what to pack to go into the future, right? Like you can't just go into your closet and look at it and go, oh my God, you know, I have like all of these clothes and I don't know which one, like, I even need to take. So you're going to research out. Hey, if you're going to the Alps, you need this type of clothing. And if you're going to a tropical island, you need to go, you have this type of clothing. If you're going to be working on a farm for the most of your rest of your life, you need to have this type of gear. Like it's that kind of thinking. And you could, if you get caught up in being defensive and poor coping methods, and if you start slipping into your past, I think you're going to miss this this beautiful trine energy that's in your south node because it's all about moving forward all about moving forward in your life if you get stuck in your past you could probably lose some of your personal power again uranus is going to kick in it's going to make you do something really stupid you could go on a drinking binge you could go sleep with somebody to make yourself immediately feel better you could call an old girlfriend or call an old boyfriend and you know you could do all these poor coping methods, but are they inevitably going to get you what you want in the end? You could lose your personal power if your ego gets the best of you and you decide to not listen to the energies. That's what today's all about, guys. I hope you enjoyed my energy reading. And I just want you guys to know you have a team up there working for you. A team. Not just one planet, not just a few, but you have a whole freaking team. They are like a football team up there. They're like all the stars of the varsity, you know, football team. You have Mercury in Gemini, you have Mars in Gemini, and you have the Sun in Gemini, all being a little football team up there in mutable energy, in ways to making you learn how to adapt and to become more and to get really into like being a new you. Like you have all them. They're up there. They're ready to go charge. They're ready to have childlike enthusiasm. They're ready to see an optimistic future. They're ready to go fall in love and to just make their whole lives happen. But with this pull on this past, with your dragon too heavy of a suitcase, you can't get that whole team to push you forward like you want to. Have a wonderful day, guys, and I look forward to talking to you again tomorrow.